Hi everybody, this is Todd Oltoff from ToddOltoff.com coming back at you with another screencast. And this week we're going to continue our look at iOS 8 and we're going to take a look at some tips and ways you can set up uh, your iPhone uh, or your iOS device to work with some of the new features of iOS 8. Now one of the requests that I've gotten already is to take a look at the family sharing option uh, that's built into iOS 8. And so this week I'm going to walk you through how to set that up and how to get started with it. Uh, now, a couple of things to understand before we get started, and that is this, that uh, family sharing, uh, you can add up to six people to family sharing. You can't add more than that. Uh, you can also uh, basically only uh, set up a new family twice. So if you set up family sharing and then you decide you don't want that uh, set up, uh, it's better to you know remove the uh, different individuals that are in that family uh, set up and then add more people in than it is to delete it because you have to understand once you delete it, uh, you only get one more shot per year on that. Uh, so you'd have to wait a year before you could set up a new one. Uh, and then the other thing with uh, children is uh, you can't remove children uh, from your uh, family uh, setup without then deleting the family or if a child has moved to another household or something like that, uh, once they've been accepted into that other family setup, then they'll be removed from yours. So just a few things there that I wanted to let you know up front so that you keep those things in mind as you look at setting up this service. So to set up the uh, family sharing option, you want to tap on settings and that will take you right here into the settings area. And if you just scroll all the way down to where it says iCloud, you want to tap on iCloud there and you'll be taken right into uh, your iCloud settings screen. Now you'll notice right there in the middle, uh, it has the setup family sharing. And so to get things started, you want to tap on that. And then you're taken to the screen that basically explains what family sharing is. Now, uh, one of the things to understand with family sharing is uh, one of the benefits is that you will be sharing your purchased music, movies, books, and apps. Uh, across all of your devices. So this kind of does give you uh, the ability to have uh, one account uh, that sort of manages everything where everybody can download everybody else's stuff. So if you're in a situation where you've got kids or you've got other adults in the household who purchase things with one Apple ID and that way nobody else can access it, uh, this family sharing will allow you to do that. It allows uh, you to be able to share those things. Now, you will have one uh, basically account that will be the purchase account. So if you're the one signing up, you need to uh, know that your credit card uh, that's associated with your Apple ID is the one that will be used to make the purchases happen. And so you need to know that so that uh, you can get that all set up and ready to go. So as you can see there, you also have a shared photo stream that will be set up. You can share your locations with family members. You'll have a shared family calendar. So that way you can stay in sync with one another without having to uh, you know, make one calendar up that all of you share. And also you can help find family members uh, missing devices and all of that. So why don't we go ahead and get started. Let's just tap on the Get Started button here. And it takes you right to this family setup. And it's just reminding you that as the organizer, you agree to, to be the one that's going to be purchasing any apps and things that get purchased from here. Uh, so if this isn't you, uh, you can obviously say not you at the bottom and sign in with a different ID. But in this case, it is me. So I'm just going to say continue. And tap that. Now you're taken to this other screen that's, that asks you which Apple ID do you want to use uh, to share your iTunes uh, uh, purchases and books and App Store purchases. And this is nice because in a lot of cases what a lot of people did to sort of work around the limitation of having your purchases attached to your Apple ID was to have a kind of second Apple ID maybe that you made purchases with and then shared that with your family. And so they still allow you to do that and this is great because it allows you to sync that up. So you put in your Apple ID and then you put in your password. So let me do that and then I'll come back and we'll see what's next. Okay, once you have your password put in there and everything looks great, you just tap the next button at the top. It verifies your account and then just says, hey, uh, this is the payment method that we have with your account. Uh, again, when you say continue, you're agreeing to uh, pay for this. You're agreeing to use that credit card for the purchases. And you can use a feature called Ask to Buy to require anybody under age 18 to get approval uh, from a parent for purchases. And so you can actually use that, uh, that setup. Now if I just tap on this managing uh, purchases down below, it basically will take me into a screen that details how that works, how you set this up, uh, how you set up Ask to Buy. It gives you a lot of details on how to do that. Just wanted to show that there are little helps along the way as you go. I'm going to tap Done. And we're just going to say Continue on this. And so now that we've done that, it asks if you want to share your location with your family. And so basically it allows your family members to know where you are uh, using messages and find my friends. Uh, they'll be able to locate you 
to see where you are. And it also allows them to locate your device using Find My iPhone. And so you can change this later. So it's, it, it is my family, so I want to do that. So I'm going to tap Share My Location because I'm okay with my location being shared. So now when I'm done, it sets me up with this screen where uh, I'm all set up. Uh, I've got family sharing ready to go. You can see that I'm the organizer on there. You can see it's got the shared payment method below. And, uh, and down below, uh, you notice at the very bottom there, I can create an Apple ID for a child. So if you've got a child uh, that's under 13 that uh, can't create their own Apple ID, uh, you're able to do that by tapping that link there. In fact, if I just tap on it for a minute, uh, it'll actually walk you through a process of setting up an Apple ID for children that are under 13 years uh, of age. And so you have to, you know, again, provide parental consent for payments, all that kind of stuff. And you would walk through this process of making this work. So like if I tap next, you can see it's going to ask for the birthday and walk me through the whole process of setting this up for them. I'm just going to tap back, uh, but I just wanted to show you that that's there. And that's how you set up a child who maybe doesn't have an Apple ID. Now what I need to do is add fa other family members to my family sharing account. So what I do is just tap on Add Family. And it's going to compose uh, this, uh, this email. And so what I do is type in the family member's name. Okay, now I've got my son in there, and it goes to the next screen. And so once I've got him in there, this is one I want to add. It says, do you want to um, allow them just to purchase on their own, or do you want to have it ask permission for purchases? So basically what this will do is if my, uh, if my son wants to buy something on iTunes, it's not going to let him do it without asking my permission. I'll get a notification on my, on my iOS device that I just approve, and then he, he'll be able to make the purchase. So it does give me some control over how my credit card is used, which, uh, again, with family sharing, that's an important thing. So I definitely want to be asked uh, permission for purchases. So I'm going to tap that setting and make sure that that's set up. Now, once you've done that, we tap Next. And it takes us to this screen. And so you want to sign in uh, to iCloud uh, using your uh, Apple ID. So this is the one that you have as the primary person. So let me just sign in using that. OK, once that's in, you tap OK. And then I'm going to tap Next. And so now it's actually added my son there uh, onto the screen. And you notice it says Invitation Sent. And that's because he's going to get an invitation now that uh, basically asks him if he wants to join. And once he says yes to joining, then he'll be added in there as a, uh, a permanent member of my family. And so what you want to do is go through and do that for each and every family member that you've got until you've actually filled in uh, your family members. Now remember, again, you can have up to six people in your family. So if you've got a family bigger than six, uh, then what you might want to do is have, you know, mom have one account, dad have the other, and just split the kids up that way. Uh, and, and work it, uh, work it from that direction. Uh, but basically, that's how it works to set this up. Now, let me just tap back for a second, go back to iCloud. And you can see there I've got, uh, it says, shows my family there. It says I've got one invitation sent. And so you can see that I've got now, I've got the family uh, sharing uh, set up. So everything's ready to go. Now, a couple of things that this did uh, when you set it up, just to show you what it looks like. If we just tap back on settings, uh, you can come down to mail, contacts, and calendar, for instance. And I just want to show you, if we were to scroll down to the bottom here uh, and go to our calendar, see where it says default calendar. Just want to tap on that for a minute. And you can see at the very bottom there, I've got a calendar set up for family. And that was not a calendar that I had in there already. And so basically it added this calendar so that now anything I add to that family calendar uh, in iCloud uh, stays in sync then with everybody else's iOS device who's inside my family. So that's automatically put there and is set up and ready to go. Let me just tap all the way back here. Yeah, let's just go back in here. Now the other thing that, uh, that gets set up is the photo stream. It actually adds a photo share for family as well. So if I just tap out of this and go to Photos. And if you're on the Sharing tab, you can see uh, here we've got this basic uh, sharing information here in Activity. And if I just tap on this Activity, you can see there right on the top it says that I created, a fa I created family uh, as an actual uh, iCloud share. And so basically we can share photos through that family share and then everybody will have the same photos show up on their device. And so it's all set up for us and ready to go to be able to share those, uh, share those photos. Uh, let me just tap out of this for a minute and come back uh, to the main screen. Uh, we also can then touch base with one another through Find My iPhone and through the, uh, and through the uh, Find My Friends uh, application as well. And that will allow us to do that sync across our devices and be able to locate one another and see where we're at. In fact, let me just tap back into here. 
So uh, so that's all I have uh, for this week on how to set up family sharing. Again, it's a pretty simple, uh, pretty simple setup to get it up and running. Uh, but it is a great way to solve a problem that uh, many families have had to work through, and that is how do we share all of our various uh, purchases and things on iTunes, as well as not have to share the same calendars and contacts and all that and have those things sync with every device. Uh, I really don't want my kids' contacts and my contacts and vice versa. Uh, this allows us to have the things that we want to share set up for one another and the things that we don't want to see, then those can stay with their individual uh, iCloud accounts and uh, everything should work out fine. So that's all I have for this week. I'll be back at you next week with another screencast to help you learn how to do more things with your Mac.